Hello, good morning, good morning to those time is morning, good afternoon to those time afternoon and good evening for those who are on their evening time already. So now I am here in uh, park and they call it in Polish is also park. Yay, we have the same word. <laughs> Okay, we all know that Polish language is very hard and it's very good for us English speaker to have one word that is the same like this park and what is inside the park of course it's summer many people are outside and they want to play under the sun dun, 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 dun. sun in Popolsku is Piotrek Swanse? Tak, Swanse. Swanse. So I'll just comment or write in the description box what is hey. I can write um, in Polish and English language. Yeah, any maybe here. Let's go here. Follow me, follow me. Okay, my topic for today is is a very uh, most requested topic. They are asking me how did I get my son? Okay, so we'll go from there to there. Okay, so how did I get my son from the Philippines going in Poland? Um, it's like this. <laughs> I get my son when the time that it is pandemic. <laughs> so it's, it, uh, actually when I arrive here, I already have planned to get my son but the problem is uh, I need to check first if I will survive here and if I will um, uh, get enough uh, money to support my son no so after one year I survive and then that's the start of planning how to get my son so I already asked some uh, people around me like lawyer, neighbors so who already get their ch child also, foreigner who already get their child also. And the first thing I, I, I did is to have a money in my bank because the lawyer said uh, they might ask me if I have 700, at least 700 PLN remaining in my bank monthly okay let's go there <laughs> let's go let's go we will check um what is the food over there okay so and then after that i save at least 700 in my bank monthly for at least uh, six months and then after that i started to to complete all the documents needed. So what are the documents needed? I'm going to write in the description below. Uh, I will only tell what I can remember. So I remember, of course, number one, because he will be my dependent. The number one is the bank history. And then uh, they want to know if you are capable of uh, supporting for your dependent and the next is the insurance uh, on traveling here and the next is because it is pandemic um, I at the time I cannot bring my son no the the officer said oh it's pandemic we only allow travel for the working visa and the student visa so I changed my request from dependent into a student visa. So I get all the needed in from the School of Lloyd. Like for example, um, uh, they call it permit from the school or acceptance letter from the school. And also I prepare the accommodation uh, letter or the accommodation agreement that will prove that my son has accommodation here when he arrived here in uh, Poland. And what else I prepared? 
I prepared some other documents that is written in the boy void ship that I am located. So right now I'm located in Masovitsky boy void ship. And they have the list I'm going to write in the uh, description below. And after that, uh, I bought uh, a ticket for my son, even though I don't know if my son will get positive visa or not. I bought a confirmed ticket for him. And because, uh, um, let's go, let's go there. <laughs> Wait. Okay. We will, um, wait a second, let's go. Okay. It's a typical, uh, let's cut that part. It's a typical uh, Polish food. Yeah. Okay. That's a typical Polish food. And we will sit down here. And then after that, yeah, that's. That's true. I, I I bought a confirmed ticket for my son, even though I don't know if he will get a positive visa. Why? Because uh, I I am always been a risk taker. So yun yung personality ko, risk taker ako, and uh, I always see things in a positive way. No, lagi ako nakatingin sa positive way, kahit na. Uh, it's pandemic, very risk talaga yung time when I am uh, getting my son. So first, the plan is defendant visa, but then the officer said we are not allowing travel for defendant visa. We are only allowing uh, working and uh, students, so we changed to student. And then um, I, I, am, or I was still here when my son submitted all the documents in the Philippines and then uh, I arrived there he already submitted one week no one week na siyang nakapag-submit ng mga documents for his uh, visa and then after a vacation for 50 days and then after three weeks uh, his visa arrived uh, he only get uh, 70 days, but it's okay for me as long as he can be with me when I travel back here in Poland. Okay, uh, may I forget something. When the, the submission is with the... Uh, uh, during the submission uh, of my son visa application, and from the time it is submitted until the time it is, uh, there, there's a result, uh, expect that there is a call from officer, border guard, or from consulate. Uh, they will, uh, that is their job, they will ask if uh, there is really a house for the student when the student arrives here, if there is really a school for the student, when the student arrived here. Just some uh, little, little things like that. Okay, what else? And that, uh, ano pa? So, that's it, I think I shared already. If you have question, uh, actually, uh, you can do it yourself, no? you getting your uh, son or child. You can also, uh, if you if you don't know much of uh, this process, you can also hire someone, hire consultancy, hire a lawyer. No, um, me because I'm already on my fourth year in Poland. When I when I get my son, medyo na tagalan ako, so medyo alam ko na kasi yung process because I, I am always been in this business. So ever since I stepped in Poland, so medyo, uh, uh, medyo ano, ano ko na yung process. So if you know already, uh, you can do it yourself. You can DIY, do it yourself. But if you are just new in this process, you can hire someone that will uh, do it for your child. Okay, that's it. What can you advise? I think I have explained well the most uh, requested um, inquiry.
from me kasi alam ko naman many OFW are uh, longing to be with their son, daughter, or child, or children. Okay? I hope I did it, uh, I did explain it well. So, pasensya na. I'm trying to make it in English kasi may mga uh, some foreigners also the other than uh, Filipino and other than um, Tagalog that they also want to learn how did I do this? How did I get my son? Okay, that's it. Bye-bye.